Is it yum nice or is it ew? Check Ben's Pumpkin Spice Review! Hello and welcome back to Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews. I'm Frenchie Curdle filling in for Ben. Today we're going to look at a pretty neat product that I'm excited about. It's Nature's Path Frosted Pumpkin Pie Toaster Pastries. These were given to me by my friend Sarah, so thank you very much because they are uh, an American product and hard to get here in Canada. So I don't know how you did that, but you got them. So thank you very much. Previously, I have tried pumpkin spice Pop-Tarts. Those were rather disgusting. They were way too sweet, chemically, didn't even look appealing with the sprinkles on them. So I'm looking forward to giving these ones a try. While these do have sugar as the second ingredient, I am hoping that the real nature of the other ingredients make up for that. Um, let's take a look at the ingredients. Wheat flour, cane sugar, invert cane syrup, palm oil, more palm oil, whole wheat flour, pumpkin puree, corn starch, rice starch, dextrose, leavening, which includes baking soda and cream of tartar, vital wheat gluten, spices, which include cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, so no cloves, interesting, tapioca starch, cultured dextrose, you don't want any of that uncultured dextrose, you know, running rampant through your stomach, just the cultured stuff, uh, sea salt, non-fat dried milk, honey, molasses, pumpkin pie spice flavor, interesting, so that one's kind of interesting that they also have that in addition to the spices, so I'm not sure exactly what the difference is there. Whey protein concentrate, algin, sodium citrate, and monocalcium phosphate. Many of these ingredients are listed as organic. I do like that there's real pumpkin in there, and I like that there's molasses. Both those things are something you don't often see, and to me that's uh, part of what, you know, pumpkin spice flavoring should have. Uh, I, I want my pumpkin spice things to not just taste like pumpkin spice, but to taste like pumpkin pie. And looking forward to seeing if these do. So let's get these into a toaster and find out. Here we have our toasted nature's path, pumpkin pie toaster strudel. A little cross section there. So not a ton of filling to maybe a little less filling than the, um, than the pop tart version. Uh, icing on the top. While it looks thick, actually isn't quite as thick as that one either. And I'm really glad that they did something which I thought would be better on the other ones, which was actually just put regular spices on the top. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon on top, instead of that, those weird yellow and brown sprinkles from the, the pop tart. So, the first word that comes to mind when I eat that is dry. I don't know if that's a byproduct of, of it being like organic and healthy, but the, the filling versus pastry ratio isn't quite right. Um, the flavor was nice, like I was getting some nice cinnamon flavor. Um, kind of reminded me of just like some cinnamon toast or something, but the filling is very thin. In the in the ends, like the filling even stops before it even gets to the end. So like your your corners are fillingless. Flavor-wise, it's it's all right. It's certainly <laughs> way more palatable than the pop tarts, which I actually found hurt my throat with the the sweetness. But as far as the overall joy I'm getting from these, the, the the lack of filling is really detrimental. And maybe I got a bad one here that just didn't happen to have the right amount of filling on the inside. But to me, that's the big problem. I think with how dry these are, these would be best dipped into your morning coffee. I think that would be a good way to eat these. I really wish I could give these a, a better review. Um, I was excited for the pumpkin pie. I was hoping there would be some pumpkin pie filling on the inside of these. Not so much. They're they're kind of dry cookies, in a way. I don't know if I can even give a proper review on the filling, just because there wasn't enough of it for me to taste. So, Nature's Path, if you were one of the 20-something people watching this video, pump them full of some filling. Just pump them up. Just get your old pumpkin syringe in there and squirt them and load them up full of some pumpkin pie filling and uh, you'll be on to something because who doesn't want to eat a pumpkin pie like while they're driving like that would be the perfect 
target market for you, right? Just like you're late to work, you want some pumpkin pie, you grab a pumpkin pie toaster strudel and you, you eat it on your drive in. You can even you know, wrap it in some foil and heat it up on the engine and you get into work and you're eating your pie. So I'm probably going to cut all that out. Anyways, thanks again for watching Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews. Is it yum nice or is it ew? Check Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews.